Tell me this, what is it like for, to just ask a more general question, what is it like to be a Catholic in the military? What do you encounter? So we provide this prayer book, but what's that experience like for the men and women you encounter? Well, it's an experience, um, th there's a combination of things because uh, particularly if someone's in a, uh, in a foreign country serving, uh, obviously the, the chaplaincy and the base community is very, very important because it's probably the only place where you can receive um, the sacraments, where you can receive uh, the comfort of your faith. But uh, also, uh, obviously in many places of isolation, and particularly in these long years of war that we've uh, that we've experienced as a country, uh, it's also a time when people begin to ask fundamental questions. So the RCIA, for example, is probably the largest program that we have in the archdiocese. Um, also, uh, many people who might have slipped through the cracks um, are now getting confirmed because they're in that situation where. Perhaps they've even seen death and they begin to ask that those fundamental questions about themselves. And that's why it's very important, obviously, to have a, a priest there who can uh, who can answer those questions and who can walk with them and accompany them in these uh, these most important moments of their of their life journey. Do you find that um, the experience in the military, you know, allows for these men and women to bring something to their faith specifically? Is there something about being in the military that affects the the way they live out their Catholic faith? I think it does. I, I think the, um, the level of commitment is, is very strong. I think that would be one element. Um, I think also a certain um, notion of trying to do what is right, and not that that's absent, absent in, in, uh, in, in other communities, but I think I see that very pronounced um, in military communities. They're, um, if they practice their faith, they practice it very fervently. Archbishop Brolio, thank you again for being with us. Thanks for everything you do for our servicemen and service women around the country and for taking the time to be with us today. You're very welcome. It's a pleasure to be here.